for us to regenerate, we need to understand the natural process behind that ecosystem we are intervening and creating the uh, good conditions for every, uh, every element of this ecosystem to thrive so that we can have a balance in our uh, nature so that we can move forward with uh, feeding the hungry planet we have ahead and the growing world population. So regeneration is a way for us to balance, create a balance in the natural ecosystems. Thank you. I love, I love how you're highlighting the word balance. And can you shine a light a bit more, maybe even use specific types of foods or production that you, you know of, um, to tell us a bit about like, what do those outcomes look like? If we're growing food using regenerative practices, what does that look like at the farm level? What, what are the benefits? Absolutely. So food has a key role for us to communicate the regeneration process because everyone eats three times per day and they need their food in the plate. So farmers have, you know, a huge role to play in, in feeding us. And, uh, and food is, is a key element for us to keep regenerating our planet. Uh, so an example of a, a very regenerative species that we use in a lot of uh, practices that we work with is the banana. Banana is a, is a key uh, regenerative ingredient that we, we use in our designs to uh, not just have uh, the fruit banana as an outcome, but even more than that, the banana is a, is a species that brings a lot of water back to the soil. It helps to create uh, a resilient and healthy soil. Uh, it also can support uh, through uh, creating conditions so that it's more soil structure can be built and, and so that you can have more nutrient cycling inside the soil. You can also retain the water in the dry periods uh, once climate change affects that ecosystem. And more than that, you can e even eat the, 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 seed of the, 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 um, the seed of the banana that is, comes along with the banana. So it's, it provides a huge amount of benefits, as well as using the, tr the, the, the tree, the leaves for biomass. So you use that as a cover crop, aside from, from all these other benefits that I mentioned. So banana is a key uh, species that we can use to regenerate nature. And still you can eat the fruits and make a lot of good uh, recipes from it. That's amazing. Yeah, such a great example of growing food and through that very production process enriching the soil, make it more resilient to climate shocks, everything you just mentioned. And on that, I'm going to dig a bit more into the, the climate piece. You spoke about more resilience, but what about, what's the connection between regenerative production methods and mitigating climate change as well? Perfect. Thanks, uh, Emma. This question is really, uh, it's really interesting. I think like one of the elements that regenerative agriculture really foster you know, uh, to, car to sequester carbon from the atmosphere, but also stock it in the soil, is that by using uh, species in the design that helps to create uh, better conditions for the soil, uh, you allow this, this process to, you know, like through using perennial crops, for instance, you allow the, 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 the soil to stock more carbon because the, of the deep roots of these perennial crops. So, and then, and then as well as putting uh, cover crop, so you plant, for instance, banana or even like grasses uh, such as uh, Mombasa grass or trees. And this, these species, you can prune them and you can use those wood chips to cover the crops of the major cash crop that you're growing or the major commodity. And then uh, this allows uh, the soil to keep more uh, humid during the dry periods, but also to stock more carbon. So the carbon sequestration and stock can only increase by uh, looking at how can we actually have a, a species that can, can potentially increase the rate of uh, photosynthesis in the system. So which species can actually capture more uh, sunlight and, and therefore more uh, carbon from the atmosphere so that we can stock that in the soil. Uh, but also uh, because of that, we need to make sure that we don't use uh, too much heavy machineries that compacts and disturb too much the soil. So that's why no tillage uh, is one of the elements within regenerative practices along 
uh, cover crop and diversification.